Our planet was struck by an inexplicable cosmic storm some 1,300 years ago. It left traces of itself in the ice cores of Antarctica and tree rings found all throughout the world. Then, 200 years later, the same thing happened again, but it was 60% more powerful this time. Hello and welcome to KYC News. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. When researchers thoroughly examined them, they discovered that over the previous few thousand years, our planet has been hit by six such cosmic storms. These are now referred to as the Miyake Incidents. Miyake Incidents do not correspond to typical solar storms that occur on Earth. These are far more potent, and it is still unknown where they came from. According to studies, such a thing occurs on average just once. Every millennium. That is a challenge because if a Miyake event takes place today, that would be disastrous. It would be catastrophic for contemporary technology, including long-distance power lines, internet connections, and even transformers. The most important query, though, is how can we know such an event occurred in the past? What traces of the Miyake occurrences remain on Earth? Lastly, and most significantly, what's the cause of the enigmatic cosmic storm that appears to strike Earth occasionally? Tree rings hold the key to solving the riddle. At first, that might seem strange, but consider what occurs during the bombardment of cosmic radiation. When a significant flow of highly energetic radiation strikes the chemical composition of the Earth's atmosphere. For example, when charged cosmic particles can change when they interact with the many nitrogen atoms in the environment. Them into a carbon isotope. The air, oceans, and other surfaces are filtered by radioactive carbon-14 both animals and plants. In this manner, a yearly record of radiation in tree rings can be produced. Radiocarbon is rare compared to the carbon isotopes that occur naturally on Earth. It only develops in the when cosmic rays strike nitrogen atoms in the high atmosphere, a nuclear reaction is set off. Every year, trees are known to add a new growth ring. In other words, if we can join the increases in the amount of radiocarbon when combined with tree growth rings can lead to assemble a trustworthy history of radiation storms that may have affected Earth millions of years ago. Japanese physicist F. Miyake discovered something peculiar in 2012. She noticed an unexpected Japanese cedar tree rings show a one-year increase in radiocarbon content around 774 CE. Then, in tree rings dating back to 993 CE, another increase was discovered in 2013. Over time, a significant increase has been discovered in radiocarbon levels, accounting for six well-researched and widely accepted radiocarbon spikes. The Miyake incidents are those instances when carbon-14 production spikes. These surges can be caused by numerous cosmic occurrences. As the most active celestial body, the sun's solar flares could seem to be the obvious cause of the body in our neighborhood. The most common solar flares are there are violent solar system events. On the sun, they appear as bright dots. The flares are a powerful radiation blast. From the magnetic energy that sunspots emit into the atmosphere. Yet, when the team examined tree ring data from the six known Miyake using computer models, the findings cast doubt on the theory that these increases are caused by solar flares. The group in order to reproduce the process over 10,000 years, the global carbon cycle was modeled. They wrote a paper and created precise curves that could clarify the connection between the long suspected the solar activity cycles modulation of radiocarbon generation has an astronomical impact. The atmosphere of Earth. For instance, the area under each curve in this graph displays the density of for each of the six recognized Miyake events, radiocarbon. Moreover, this curve displays the length of each occurrence. It gave them enough information to determine whether the timing of the carbon rise is related to solar flares. More information is available for the incidents in 774 and 993 CE two of the six documented events. With evidence in several trees in both the northern and southern hemispheres, they appear globally coherent. 
Hemispheres The most recent ring data makes the incident of the year 774 even more noticeable. It seems to be 10 times more potent than the Carrington event of 1859. During the Carrington event, a significant geomagnetic storm produced telegraph lines to catch fire. Even planet-wide auroras were caused by it. The Carrington incident continues to be the most powerful geomagnetic storm ever seen. That took place barely a few months before the solar cycle 10 maximum. Hence, as the sun rises, geomagnetic storms may become more frequent in July 2025, when the sun will be at the apex of its current solar cycle. However, the researchers discovered significant discrepancies after analyzing the data for the event of 774. Despite the fact that some trees in specific regions of the world had a substantial increase in radiocarbon, the others showed a delayed surge over two to three years for the other than for one year. The team then came to the conclusion that rather than a single immediate explosion or flare, the single Miyake event might have been the result of multiple little explosions. A supernova explosion might be the root of the problem. For years, astronomers have conjectured that in 774 CE, a supernova might have been observed. This inspired them to explore for further connections between the supernova explosions and the radiocarbon rise. But, it's not an easy task. We discovered radiation spikes without supernovas and supernovae without associated radiation spikes. Further, superflares from M dwarf stars may be connected to certain events. Yet regrettably, there, there is still no straightforward explanation that can succinctly explain the origin of the Miyake incidents. According to historical data, a Miyake occurrence might happen again sooner or later. The issue is also that uh, since the last incident, a lot has changed. If a Miyake occurrence comparable to the one in the year 774 takes then it will now result in the end of the internet. Moreover, infrastructure could be harmed and fatal radiation levels will be exposed to passengers on airplanes. Because of this, it's crucial to comprehend the actual physical phenomenon that produces Miyake occurrences as well as their nature. We might be able to foresee them in the future once we have a better knowledge. The Sunday Discovery Series 46th episode comes to an end now. So, in addition to the climate emergency, there is another concern. Attention is turning to space. To protect ourselves from the future global crisis, it is no longer enough to mitigate climate change by bringing emissions to zero, as greater threats may be coming from outside the Earth. Periodically, streams of charged particles from solar flares or explosions reach our planet. These are the ones that cause polar auroras, disrupt communications, or cause minor damage to satellites. In this case, we are not referring to typical solar storms, but to super flares, better known in science as Miyake events, whose origin is still uncertain. So far, there are few records of serious incidents generated by solar storms after the Industrial Revolution. One in particular, the Carrington event of 1859, paralyzed the global population at the time, causing current surges in electricity networks to the point of destruction. We could imagine a far more catastrophic effect on society today. Tree rings reveal something fearsome. Recently, a group of experts at the University of Queensland in Australia discovered that the history of superflares is compiled in tree rings. It has been deciphered that a mysterious cosmic storm hits our planet every thousand years. And this has been verified through the high concentrations of radioactive carbon-14 contained in the rings, the streams of charged particles upon contact with the Earth's atmosphere, interact with nitrogen atoms. This reaction produces a new form of carbon-14, carbon which is eventually absorbed by the trees. This is how they have been able to interpret this fingerprint in the rings. If a pattern can be found, future Miyake events could be predicted. But research alone is not enough. If you liked this video, please like it and follow our channel. Just click the bell button to make sure you don't miss any next seasons of the show.